Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Joe Torres. Prosecutors say he's to blame, but his attorney says the case is overblown. Reginald Chance is the fourth person arrested for that motorcycle road rage caught on camera that has everyone talking. And he's accused of setting off the violent confrontation when he used his helmet to smash the SUV window. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Kozar is live at the 33rd Precinct in Washington Heights. Matt? Sandra, Reginald Chance is one of two people arrested and arraigned this weekend, and more arrests are likely to come. Detectives here at the 33rd Precinct are continuing their investigation, and they've released more photos of suspects wanted in connection to the assault. These are pictures of two bikers who cops are looking for. Police say they played a role in the assault of Alexi and Leon last Sunday, a road rage incident that led with Leon and his wife getting pulled from their Range Rover. One of the main suspects in the case, 37-year-old Reginald Chance, was arraigned in criminal court Sunday on charges of gang assault, criminal possession of a weapon, and criminal mischief. Chance can be seen in this YouTube video, smashing the driver's side window of the Range Rover with his helmet. We can see the criminal mischief. It's obvious that he overreacted. But the law does permit someone who is a victim of an accident to at least attempt to get the identification of the motorists. And my client obviously uh, overreacted in that manner. Chance's attorney contends his client did not beat up Leanne. He did not assault anyone. He did not kick anyone or punch anyone, or did he authorize anyone to do any of those things? On Saturday, 35-year-old Robert Sims was also arraigned on charges of assault and weapons possession. Police say he's the biker who tried to pull open the driver's side door to the SUV as it fled up the West Side Highway. Like Chance's attorney, Sims's lawyer says his client did not participate in the assault. It appears to me that they're trying to indict everyone uh, as being doing something illegal. Now, the NYPD is investigating why two off duty cops who were riding with the biker group did not intervene to stop the beating from happening. Sources say one was an undercover narcotics detective who didn't get involved because he was worried about his cover getting blown. The NYPD is also investigating whether three other off duty officers were nearby when the attack was happening. Reporting live in Washington Heights, Matt Kozar, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.